So, um, coming back to the beloved AI topic that I keep going on and on about, I'm so surprised that the reaction of people is so much um, scaremongering going on, especially in the media, uh, around the, the AI sentience thing, which I suppose a lot of uh, sci-fi lovers will understand, having seen so many films with robots destroying people. And um, it got me thinking. It's only a matter of time before people start building combat-ready robots. And um, we will we'll see... Well, I'm sure um, you've already seen Boston Dynamics robots. They've got like a llama robot, a dog robot, all these different robots. They're immensely strong. They can pull trains, trucks, carry heavy loads up the side of mountains, all kinds of things. They're far better at moving around than a human would be in those scenarios, which I suppose what their use is. Um, and the thing that interests me about the reason I've got Guyver playing in the background here is because that's kind of, um, a, 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 I think it's Japanese, it's like a manga about a guy who, he finds this thing called a control metal and it takes over his body and turns him into this like super strong robot alien type thing, right? So, I mean obviously we're not going to get anything like that, but it got me thinking and it's like, right, AI robots and um, people being scared of them. I think they're actually scared of the physical robot. They're not scared of the AI part. I don't actually think anyone's scared of the AI. Like when they're using ChatGPT and they're typing things in and getting replies, no part of them is thinking, oh, this thing wants to kill me. So I think that will be the problem. So what we'll probably see is really friendly looking robots that come out. They'll be the ones that we're shown and the ones that get sent into combat scenarios like they'll make assassination robots like drones but instead of being uh, flying around they'll be bipedal or tanks or whatever and um, they won't look quite so friendly and uh, people might complain and um, have ethical concerns and that's fine the conversation conversations regarding the ethics of it do need to be discussed but I think it's inevitable that certainly um, soldiers nations with armies will want to replace their standing armies with robots and I'm sure the actual soldiers would far prefer a non-combat role perhaps they would have a robot each which their task is to program or to um, well maybe not program but you know keep in working order maybe and share weapon well I don't know it could just be a support robot for the, the soldiers so they work in a team or something but inevitably that's going to happen so uh, I would like to see the conversation start now and yeah I think it's worth reminding ourselves as well there's going to be a lot of good um, combat applications as well like if you live near if you live in a place that has wild predators and you want to keep animals you might have a problem with those animals going missing or getting injured or eaten by the predators so in that scenario a combat robot that wasn't going to attack people would be really useful it, could be, it, would, it wouldn't even have to kill them if it could just chase away pests and other creatures and um, prevent your livestock and your animals from being injured then that would be good wouldn't it so I'm sure nobody would have a problem with that provided it didn't attack people which I don't think it would um, and then you know going far into the future past that I think we'll have we'll certainly have cars we've already got cars that can drive themselves but I think transport systems with AI built in like an Alexa feature for a taxi would be great I mean it would solve traffic and parking problems certainly so or it would definitely do something to help uh, so yeah hopefully that's where the conversation will go so I'll end that video here um, I might go and watch a bit of Guyver actually so I will see you next time